Morning guys. There's my gloves and my new flag. They were cheap. There seem to be a lot of cheapies on Amazon at the moment. Well, as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's absolutely fantastic. Still bitterly cold. The ground has got a bit hard again, so it's uh, not too bad because I'm, <laughs> I won't be sliding about. But my plan, hopefully, I'm trying to go and try and get two or three barrel loads just to get into that last section and get it raked out. If I... Hang on. Yeah, it's a lovely freezing cold day. Eh? The polytunnel is lovely and warm. I've just opened it up. I just had one of the, one of my friends up here has just been to tell me that uh, his dog passed away and he's broken up and towards his wife. Sad times. That's the only reason why I didn't. I thought twice about having a pet. Never mind. Right, as you can see, the uh, camera's gonna play out today. Can you hear me? What go in that sunny bit there? So I'm now gonna put them out there. The polytunnel's reading. I said it was 20 degrees. So inside, so it's been a bit warmer. But I've got uh, a little stuff to bring up. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get that poo moved. So we'll crack on. All right, guys. That's that last section done. God, that's, that's took it out of me. This cold has come back on me a big time, but I'm sweating like I couldn't, so I'll keep it, get rid of it. Uh, uh, yeah, so that's raked out, that's all left. I've raked out round in the gooseberries. Need half a barrel of just down one side there. And then that's just that bit where the collies are to do. The chickens love the sunshine on the ground. Two, four, five out. Oh, the old girl's laying inside. Right, I'll let them in. You eat what she's left. Right, guys, I'm going to. Uh... Oh, I forgot what I can bloody do now. I'm going to. Well, I brought my shallots in. There, there, shallots that need to be bottom level shelf. Shallots there, they look like they're leaning a bit forward on. Turn my back, I'm going to have a cup of coffee in a minute because noise will just come down us. Right, that's 17 degrees in here, that's where the door will see. What was I going to bloody do? Do you know, so I'm talking about going mad. I've, I've brought down more seeds. I've got some radishes in there, and they have already popped through, and there's some beetroot in the other half. So, that's looking okay. Oh, for goodness sake, it's mad when you lose your, you're losing your marbles. I'm going to do something anyhow. Ah, screwdriver I needed for. Ah, this is what I'm <laughs> I found a bit of Perspex, which will fit in that. So I'm now going to uh, put the Perspex over top of this to keep it tight, if I can. But I need a kneeler. All right, guys. So the per bit of perspex fit in there, lovely. I'm just thinking about drill, just putting a screw in. But uh, other than that, really, I shouldn't have to worry. Uh, I won't worry. Right. So that's that little bit done. Right. I just got to sort the shelf out. Yeah, no more luck. I've done the shelf or something. Will give you anyway, and I'll all be over the place. So that's another pallet broken up. But this old pallets, some of these, this will be cut up into kindling to start up my little barbie. I'm just going to see how it goes. Oh dear. right. I sat at yourself with. Can't do much. I'm not good now. Take care all. Bye. All right, morning guys. Sunday morning. And to be quite honest, it's a lovely day. It's not too bad. There's a slight breeze. It's not really freezing cold. Getting muddy under the foot though now. We had a very severe frost again last night. And we are the only ones here, me and the wife. Nigel's just pulled up. So I've just now extended the chickens. I've just got to put a bit of net on that last bit down the end there. But uh, I don't know where they're gone. They had all this green here. She's just been collecting chickweed. Uh, oh, they're too busy watching. The wife's got a pot noodle in the in the polytunnel, and they can smell it. <laughs> Buggers, right? So uh, that's that section done. I've uh, still got a little trouble with mice. 
So, well, I don't know. With the, uh, the amount of cats up here, you would have think the boss name. Right, these are my garlic. They're coming through, and even the end ones, as I say, they they show me about the shadow, but just can't do, can't get out of it. Uh, yeah, even the end ones here have come through, which I'm pleased. Carrots seem to be fattening up. Someone just pulled one out there, just to have a look how good they are. Probably somebody wanted some for Christmas. And then you got onions set there. Well, they're going to be harvested when they're small and young, so we use them quick. We've got plenty of onions. Garlic, elephant garlic, right over there back there. I'm now going to uh, try and empty a thousand litre tank, oh, a uh, steel tank, with compost and uh, move it. I'm going to move all this wood here. And I'm considering putting one of the tanks right at the end there near them barrels because that's blocked off now. So that won't be used anyway. I was going to put do what you said, Glenn, about the the strawberries, but I think it could be my last year for strawberries because that if you think of it, this area, we only get two weeks of strawberries, really, three weeks at most. It's not uh, it's not productive enough. Oh, look out, Nigel's up here with Keras, little Keras, come to see Sam. And uh, I'm going to crack on. Okay, so I've got half the barrel empty, I can move it a bit more now. But uh, oh, it's too nice, it's getting muddy and all. Getting muddy, they're sitting in a polytunnel. And that's beautiful in there, warm, the sun's going straight in it. Oh, they've decided that do like a bit of collie leaves. I'm glad of that. I, I, all these leaves out here, they're sprouts for next year, and uh, I don't want to touch them. I don't know a chicken that don't like greens. They all I used to hang loads of greens in the summer. I loved them. I've got to put some uh, sawdust in in a minute. Right, we have a crack on. Can you hear them? Listen now. All right, guys. I've uh, oh, I just had a lovely cup of coffee. Actually, it tastes nice. I've lost the taste for tea properly. The tea we have at home has now changed its flavour for some reason, I don't know. Oh, I honestly don't know. Right. So I've cleared that area and I'm going to put one of them tanks right down that end there. So I can still get round at that. Once that lot of wood has started to dry out, we're going to make a wood stack somewhere and that could be possibly down the bottom end. But these old pallet collars, so you can see they're bulging now. It'll be the last year, I dare say. Next year, I'll probably have to re renew the whole lot. But we're getting there. The only trouble is I've lost my screwdriver bit in the end. You know, you have a flat end and a hex end. I'll take you over to see Tony. He's now going to try and get this uh, motivator started up. You to hold the plug. I'm now going to hold the plug then. That's nice. Hold your hairs ready for the bang. <laughs> he ain't put petal in it yet. There he is. Yeah. Have he? Yeah. I might need oil in it instead of petal. I obviously had the magic pull. I've pulled that. Okay. Pulled it. Considering it's not run for a long while. Look at that. That really chopped through it, actually. It's quick. I ain't got to reverse on it, though. No, no reverse. That's that easy, you know, and all that. Yeah. Two other holes for something. Yeah, that's why you can flip up and back. No. Oh, wait, yeah. I'll move over, don't I? Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go, he fixed it. He's fixed it. Tony's fixed it. Right, poor old Keras twisted a knee at school. They said, get in, at, get to see your doctor. Can't get in to see the doctor, poor girl. Tuesday she done it. Oh, I don't know. If she's going to A&E up here, she'll be in there forever. But as you can hear, Tony's got that sorted. What they're try talking about doing with it is that if anybody take a plot on a need to use a rule vator, that's going to cost you, I think, uh, they'll give you it with a full tank of petal but it has to be returned with a full tank of petrol. And I don't know if 10 or 15 quid. 15 quid, I'd say it's good. Right, guys, I'm now going to try and move this tank. Right, guys, come on, managed to get in there. Right, let's take it over there. Right, guys, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it up on like legs. Uh, all I was thinking of doing, actually, to be quite honest, is uh, instead of here they are. I just wanted to put it under, get something so I can. I just want to lift it up so hedgehogs and things like that can get under and have some protection if they need. You know, like that. Do half a dozen of that, four of them, all the way around. Just nail them together and uh, lift it up so you can get a hedgehog or whatever. And even if there's a mouse under there and it pops his head out, there's something going to have them and all. Right, off we go. Right, guys, I've slid that along there. That'll stay there. I can still get by, but I ain't got to worry about getting by. It's, uh... Nasty people in this world. And we have to have one of them up on this plot. Right, guys, as I was saying. Oh, then, Tony. Right. You can see, they're walking around. She's looking for chickpeas. Greens for the... What's names? Chick do you uh, need a collie, Tony? Yeah. Hey. Right, guys. Well, I've moved the tank. I've made so many clips of this and I've been stopped and I've swore and I've said things which I shouldn't have said, so I've not another clip. And yeah, I slid it all the way along there today. So that's in there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up and if I use it with carrots, the compost is all going to be sieved. That'll be rejuvenated with bloodfish and bone and uh, chicken pellets. But what I might do is I might just layer the bottom with some uh, fresh poo, fresh uh, pig poo, what I've got. But this lot's got to come out, then I'll rake it right through. There's holes in the bottom, there is. Then when these break down, I'm going to get rid of the pallet collars and I'll move this sideways. I've got another one over there, so I could have three steel ones, but raised up a slightly bit. And all you've got to do is, if you're worrying about carrots and that, Spray the outside with Jay's fluid and that'll, that'll deter all, any carrot fly. Yeah, so that's that's the plan for the future. That was that rotten one. Brian, if you remember, you told me the roots had gone on it. So I planted it in there and it's trying. Look, it's got mini sprouts on it or something. It's trying. It really is. The wife was about here somewhere. She's getting a load of greens for the chickens, but... I moved them onto that grass area and I forgot to put the net over so somebody might tell me. It might be a polite person who'd tell the, the council he would. Yeah, these sprouts need to be, look, you can see that end, but this end, this old polytunnel was blocking a lot of the light off so it stunted a lot of the growth. But they're now kicking along and I'm hoping we will have some sprouts near late spring right guys Tony done well on that route of hay he's plumb messed about with that he really has so I think I don't even know what the time is I think we're now going to call it a day and come on somebody. I've got to rejuvenate my blueberries over there and that is uh, ericaceous compost and I'm also giving, giving them a little blood fish and bone to give them a boost <coughs> but we cracked on and we've done something and I've lost my screw head. So I ain't gonna find that in this lot. Hi, right, off we go. See how cold it is, look at this. Look at this shed. Right, we've got the chicken some sweet corn today, so I'm now gonna sort them out. Right guys, that's me done with that clouded over now. As soon as I start to cloud over a little bit of a nip. Right, so I managed to do something even on a Sunday I've sort the chickens out. I always do. I've uh, moved that tank. I'm going to empty that totally tomorrow, possibly. And then uh, raise it up. Just just so I can, you know, that makes a little home if there's a hedgehog up here, because we, we've got to encourage hedgehogs up here. We have a few every now and then. I've also got to get my net done on there. These leaks, well, they went in at a funny time. They are fattening up a bit, but... Ooh. I just need 
a sweet over there. I'm going to leave them, let them keep going. I've got turnips. I love turnips. I just could peel it and eat it. But not at the moment. I've got to move more poo. I'm hoping my priority is going to be try and get them last raspberries in that area there where that yellow tarp is. Get a membrane on like this one. Then put some poo on the top and leave it like a mulch. Uh, and then that's both sections of that done. These tubs I'm just trying to balance where to put them. I'm thinking about putting them all the way along this edge here because uh, further up anyhow I can get round the trees easy enough. This edging's got to be moved so I've got quite a bit to do just Tony's just gone he said I can't get on with much but I can see and then the, 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 I suppose they're going to want our money soon payment. This plot well I think he's going to pack it in and if they pack it in they need to get the old uh, guy with the digger and to replace all of that because he's dug, dug it out look at it it's a foot down foot lower than it should be and then scrape the top Oh, they're in the polyton tormenting the dog carouses. Right, this one, as you can see, is sunk down quite a bit now. So this, I believe, next year, I'll dig this one out and have to rejuvenate it all, do it up. This one is just slowly sinking down. That one, that'll have a lot of that poo over there will be put on the top of this. Nigel's has been digging this polyton out and re renewing the soil and that. So, as you can see, he gave me a heck of a lot this year. Blink a great big load. So if we can get that done tomorrow, it would be nice to get it done tomorrow. Get a membrane on it. That'll be another area which I shouldn't have to worry about weeding. These cauliflowers, they've got a frost on them, look, on the top and the yellow. The ones of them, little ones, so I'm hoping that once they fall out again that they'll brighten up. If not, the old girl, they shouldn't affect them really, but I need to get some poo on here. So that could be all this in next week, if I can stick to the ideas. A load of wood I've moved away from up the end, so I've got uh, some bait and some poison down for the mice and the rats. Try and get on top of them, Michael's got to. I'm afraid if you, you know, Worried about it, it has to be done. Because my chickens are not having a happy time of it. Right, guys, I'm now going to get the wife sorted out. We're going home, don't forget. Listen, uh, don't watch news, watch me instead. I'm more fun, and so is the old girl. <laughs> Bye.